Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to use Tor browser safely in Windows 10. So this is going to be a very easy one. So let's get started. So you want to actually safely use the Tor browser. So the first thing that you have to remember here is you have to have the latest version that Tor has to offer. So go to any browser that you have right now and go to torproject.org and download the latest version that they have right now. But once you have the latest version, you could go ahead and use it now. So here, let's go ahead and open up our Tor browser here. Start Tor browser. And from here, the first thing that you want to do for Tor browser is we want to change a few things on our browser. So first thing is you want to go to the top right of the screen. That's where the tree bar icon or the open application menu setting is and just click on it. And from here, you want to go to settings. Now from here, we want to change a few things. So one of the things that we want to change here is we want to go to privacy and security. Now here in privacy, privacy and security, we want to go to the settings here one by one. So first setting that you want to enable for this one is you want to enable the de delete cookies inside data when Tor browser is closed. So you have to ensure that this option is actually enabled on your Tor browser to keep you safe. Now when we actually scroll down a bit, we'll be able to see the section for history. Now for history, we want to use the always use private browsing mode. So this to ensure that we actually are in private mode and our history is not being recorded on what websites we actually visit with the Tor browser. Now here, if you already use Tor browser for other stuff and you have uh, have the setting turned off, then I would suggest you to click on clear history and basically choose everything and just click on OK so that all of the history that you currently have will be deleted. And now the next thing you want to do is you want to scroll down again until you see the security sections here. So this is the security level. So you could set this to different levels. So we have the standard, safer and safest. Now, currently it's set only set to standard, which means all browser and website features are enabled. So if you want to stay more safe, on using Tor browser, then you want to set this to safest. So it only allows website features required for static sites, basic services, these changes, effect, effects, images, media, and scripts. So it's also gonna disable uh, JavaScript, though uh, some sites actually uses JavaScript to work properly. So you might want to change this if you're visiting a website that uses JavaScript. So it depends on you. If you t trust that website, you could go ahead and change your security level. But yeah, being the safest would be the best thing that you could do right now. So uh, choose safest if you can. Now, the next thing that we want to do here is you want to scroll down again. And we should be able to see the section that says deceptive content and dangerous software protection. Now here we want to enable the block dangerous and deceptive content. So here enable the block dangerous download as well. So what's it going to do? It's going to protect us from downloading files online. So if we download files, it's gonna potentially expose our IP address and in turn going to expose our current location. So you have to stay safe and not expose your IP to the other users or to other websites here. So talking about IP addresses and about uh, protecting yourself from other users, then I would also suggest you to use VPN. So if you're going to use a VPN, I would suggest you to use Atlas VPN. So you could actually use Atlas VPN for free for five gigabyte of data. So yeah, from here, you just need to get Atlas VPN, just click on it. And you just need to follow the on-screen on steps to get your VPN. But since I already have Atlas VPN installed on my PC, I'll be showing you what's going to look like. So I'm going to start up Atlas VPN here and you'll see the basic controls. So here it is, Atlas VPN. I could choose from different servers here, but currently the most uh, server that I recently use is the US Los Angeles here. I'm just gonna click on it and it's going to automatically start my connection for VPN. And as you can see, my VPN has now started.
So if you want to turn this off, just click on it. But make sure every time you connect or use Thor VPN, you, uh, sorry, use Thor is you actually use a VPN to conceal your IP address and not revealing your current location. So it's better to stay, uh, stay safe and not reveal your uh, IP addresses because that would actually start uh, or give hints to other hackers out there to give to access your location and basically start ravaging who, on your personal information and whatnot. So yeah, so if you want to stay anonymous, make sure you use a VPN for this one so that they will not be able to access your information or your current location. And yeah, so that's basically it to uh, need to know how to stay safe using Tor VP uh, Tor browser here. Make sure you use VPN, adjust your settings here, and yeah, so that's basically it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.